and welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel my name is Rhonda better known as hot mess mama MD and I talk with my hands a lot especially after I drink lots of coffee so anyways today we are doing a, is it a dupe or just a waste of money and what we are checking out is the Athena palette by bad habits may look familiar to some Yes, that's right. You all have guessed it. It looks like the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette right here. Mind-blowing. I know, right? This retails for $65. Always want to do that. Everybody does that. It's nothing new, Rana. And this one retails at shophush.com for, wait for it, $12. That's right, y'all. I said it. $12. $12. I know, right? By the way, I'm not affiliated, I'm not sponsored, however, if they want to sponsor me, um, here I am. Make sure to give my video a thumbs up if you do like seeing these kind of videos. Also, please make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know if there's some other palettes out there that high-end versus, you know, inexpensive that you'd like to see me dupe as well. If you would like to see how I got this look, and hey, take a wild guess leave a comment down below what side do you think is the Athena palette side or the Huda Beauty side hmm 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 no cheating no cheating yeah y'all I have two different palettes on my face right now pretty exciting huh I don't know anyways without further ado let's get this dupe started Check these two out, okay? Just check them out. Look at that, y'all. Let's see if I can figure that out. There we go. Look at that. Do you guys see that? Now, hold on. I already did the swatches because I feel like it's kind of boring if I sit here and do each swatch over, what, 18 different colors. So on the top, you will see I have literally swatched everything. And on the top is the Athena palette. And on the bottom is the Huda palette palette look at that you guys do you guys see that do you see how similar these are it's insane it is insane okay so as always I'm going to do one eye with the uh, one palette one eye with the other palette I will be using the exact same brushes cleaning them while well, dry cleaning them in between so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna zoom you guys in I have already done all of my face minus my eyes I have primed my eyes using my Tarte shape tape so without further ado I'm gonna stop this rambling and we're gonna get started I am going to do this side of my face with the Huda Desert Dust palette the side of my not face but eye with the Athena palette by Bad Habit. I mean, I am so excited. I have only swatched these colors, guys. I have not even attempted eye looks with the new Athena palette, but let me just tell you, I am so excited about doing this.
Okay, so I'm going to hop off. I'm going to do my liner, my mascara, and I will be right back. Okay, everybody, so I am back with my mascara and my eyeliner. Uh, I use the Unique Moonstruck uh, Precision Pencil Eyeliner in the shade Perfect. And for mascara, I use my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. Yeah. So, okay, so here's the final look. I'm going to go ahead, zoom you guys in, and then give you my final thoughts. Okay, so here is the final look. Um, there may be a little mascara up here because I happen to blink right after I applied it and looked up and then made a mess of myself. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys out. And again, as always, don't judge the blending skills or lack thereof. <laughs> so to give you guys my final thoughts, like I said, um, or may not have said, I don't know. Sometimes I think of things in my head and they don't always make it out to my mouth. Sometimes they do and they probably shouldn't have. But anyways, um, I tried to use colors in, you know, this palette that were a little bit, I don't know the right word, maybe more or less known to kind of cause a bit of an issue when it comes to formulations, such as like purples can be kind of a tricky type of shadow to formulate. Um, also, I had gone on YouTube and I checked out a lot of colors that people were using in their tutorials with the Huda Desert Dust palette. So I tried to also incorporate those colors into this look. But again, so I wanted you guys to see how they all mesh together, work together, and you know, now, even though I showed you all the swatches on my arms and everything like that, I just don't honestly feel like the swatches on my arms do any justice because they may swatch great with my fingertips or even a brush on my arm, but when I apply them to my eyes, they could be completely different. So with that being said, that again is why I tried to use as many colors as possible in this eye look. Do you guys love how I talk with my hands so much? I mean... God forbid somebody were to like strap my hands to my side. I don't think I'd know how to talk properly. <laughs> okay, anyways, that's not what this video is about. There I go again. There I go again. Anyways, a little bit about this palette. I always forget to talk about bad habits and, um, you know, the expiration of things, like how long their products last, if they're cruelty-free, anything like that. But I did want to mention, uh, here is the box. There is a total of 18 shadows, just like in the Huda Beauty palette. This does have an expiration of 12 months, so it does last longer than an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, and it is cruelty-free. I don't know if my camera is picking that up, but it is, and it does come in a nice little box, as well as a little bit about the palette. It is in a cardboard type of palette, just like the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk one, as well as it does have a mirror, just again, like the Desert Dust one. Uh, now, I will tell you guys, if you guys have checked out my Aphrodite palette versus the Huda Rose Gold Texture palette, which I will try and remember to leave a little card up here for you guys to check out, the whole dupe situation or waste of money kind of thing. Um, I will tell you that the Aphrodite palette does have a mirror, however, the Huda Rose Gold one did not or does not. So anyways, back to is it a dupe or just a waste of money? Y'all, if you couldn't tell by my application and this look, can you all tell a difference on what palette is what? Again, this is the Aphrodite side. This is the Huda Beauty Desert Dust side. I do not feel like there is a difference whatsoever. I'm telling you all, Bad Habits knocks it out of the complete flipping ballpark when it comes to duping high-end palettes. Like, this is literally a $65 palette. I got this for $12. $12, guys. So if you're interested in checking it out, again, I'm not sponsored, affiliated. They don't even know I'm doing this video, which, I mean, really, they should. I've done, like, five of these videos, and there's more to come. But anyways, um, shout out, shop, hush. Feel free to sponsor this hot mess mama girl. I definitely think this is 100% a fabulous dupe. And to be honest with you guys, I'm going to say it just like I did about the Aphrodite palette. I feel like the formula in these Bad Habit palettes are actually easier to work with. Even my daughter, who literally is almost 18, she was watching me swatch these and she was blown away, especially with this glitter shade right here. Now, as you guys know, or may not know if you don't have the Huda palette, this is kind of um, 
a chunkier type of glitter and it swatches better in the Athena palette than it does in the Huda palette. FYI. So anyways, uh, like I said, this is 100% Hot Mess Mom approved, total dupe, total highly whatever. I'm like blown away by how amazing it is. But yes, it is totally a dupe, not a waste of money. If anything, save your, what is it, $63, no, $53, and pick up this Athena palette. I hope I did that right. I really do. I'm, like, not the best at math all the time, especially when put on the spot. But whatever it is, I would say save your money if you have not already purchased this Huda Desert Dust palette and pick up the $12 Athena palette by Bad Habits. Like I said, $12, shophush.com. You can't beat it, y'all. You truly can't beat it. So anyways, that is all for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it and you found it helpful. And if you did, please make sure to hit those like buttons down below or that like button down below as well as that subscribe button. Don't forget about the subscribe button and the little bell next to it. If you hit the bell next to it, you will be notified every time that I upload a video. So until tomorrow, my friends, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed day. Kisses from Kentucky. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.